Hi everyone, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm presenting the Ranchilio Silvia Pro X. The Pro X is an evolution of a machine that requires no introduction in the specialty coffee space, and that of course is the Ranchilio Silvia, which has legendary status. The Silvia is ubiquitous with the specialty coffee scene. It's known for its incredible reliability, the great coffee that it makes, and its awesome industrial look. The Silvia Pro X takes that well-known design that we're all used to, to another level. Instead of being a single boiler, dual purpose machine like the original Silvia, this is a dual boiler that is just jam packed with features. To present the Pro X, first I'm going to go over its many features, and then I'll show it to you in action, I'll make a few drinks. The first thing that we have to choose with the Pro X is of course the color. Uh, the Pro X comes in four different finishes, we have the traditional brushed steel, then a matte white, pink and black are available. Now you'll notice on my a steel machine and on the black machine I have wooden accents. These do not come standard with the machine, they're available as upgrades. People have been adding PID controllers to their Ranchilio Silvias for years. And on the Pro X, Ranchilio is taking care of that for us, a PID is standard. And a PID is basically a digital thermostat, it controls the temperature inside the coffee boiler so we can really fine tune it to get the most out of our espresso. The PID also acts as the control center of the machine. We can change a lot of variables, a lot of different features, and I'll explain all of those just a little bit later. The water tank on the Pro X is just at the back. It has this plastic cover, which we remove, uh, and it's a large opening, so you can easily pour from a pitcher or from uh, a different water source. The tank is removable, however, if it's underneath cupboards, it's gonna be a little hard to get out. I usually find it's easier if your machine is under cupboards just to fill it using a pitcher or something like that. The top surface of the Pro X is a uh, cup warming surface, and it is quite large, actually larger than in most machines. You can fit quite a few cups up there. I only have uh, three, but you can easily fit uh, six, uh, even six cappuccino cups with, uh, with no problem at all. Here at the front, of course, we have the different buttons to control the machine. This is the power button to turn it on and off. This is to turn the steam on. This is a double boiler, uh, but you press the steam button and uh, this light becomes solid once you're ready to steam. It happens very, very quickly. It's only a couple of seconds, typically. Bottom button right here is for hot water, and that just toggles on. Water will start pouring from the hot water wand, and then you press it again to make it stop. And lastly, we have the coffee button in the middle there. And again, this is a uh, semi-automatic machine. Uh, so we press that button, it's just a toggle switch. We'll turn the pump on and we press it again to turn it off. On the right hand side here, we have the steam knob and the steam wand. The wand on the Pro X is quite long, which I really like. You can use very large pitchers if that's what you wanted to do. Uh, that is a really cool feature. Down here, we have a manometer, and this is a extraction pressure gauge. So uh, that's only gonna matter when we're making a shot of espresso. It will measure the pressure inside the group. Now, if you're observant, you may have noticed that the white uh, model has a drip tray that's slightly higher. And this is because of a very cool feature which we really haven't seen before, at least not on home machines, and that allows you to adjust the height of the drip tray. Uh, you do that by removing the uh, grid here, removing the actual drip tray itself. And down here we have these two kind of metal brackets. And there's three different positions. So this is the lowest position. So if I want to use higher cups, that's what I would use. There's a middle position and a top position. This white machine here is in the highest position. So you would use that for if you're uh, making espressos, if your usual drink is an espresso. And then you can lower it uh, to the lowest position if you want to use taller mugs. Again, this is something we haven't seen in machines like this before. And I think it's quite neat. The PID is the control center of the machine. It's got a lot of different variables and I'll discuss those now. The first thing that we see is a number and that's 93 and that of course is the temperature inside my coffee boiler, 93 degrees Celsius. If I wanna change that, very simple, all I have to do is press plus or minus. Uh, basically I can go a higher temperature or lower, but I'm gonna go down to 90 degrees and in order to confirm the temperature, I just press the coffee button and then that will save. Now this keeps flashing because um, it's not at temperature. It's not at the temperature I set it to, I had at 93 degrees. The machine has no active way of cooling the water inside the boiler, so we just have to wait for that energy to dissipate. So while the machine is cooling, uh, let's go into the menu and I'll show you some of those settings. To enter the menu, we press the plus and minus buttons together and just hold them for a few seconds. And the first thing that we'll see is T2, and then we can scroll through a few different options, uh, basically F1 through 8. T2 
T2 is the temperature inside the steam boiler. And in order to enter that menu, again, we press the coffee button once and we're presented with the temperature, which was 125, but it timed out. You have to do this in quick succession because we'll just go back to the, to the regular menu. I'll go back into the uh, programming mode once again and I'll show you T2. And again, we can change this boiler temperature. 125 is actually the max, but if you wanna go lower, you can go between 120 and 125, and that will correspond with how much pressure you have inside your steam boiler. The next option is F1. F1, I'm not gonna go into, but it's an automated back flush cycle. It's how you clean the machine. Uh, the Sylvia Pro X can do that for you automatically. F2, and I'll just go into that, F2 is the automatic wake up. What that is is an automatic on, and it's in intervals of half an hour. So basically, let's say I'm finished making my coffee, and I wanna have another coffee uh, at lunchtime, so let's say in three hours. I set it to three hours, I press confirm, the machine turns off, and it'll turn back on in three hours. And you can go from zero or from half an hour up to 24 hours with that feature. F3 and F4 are not features that you're gonna be using often. F3 is to uh, empty the coffee boiler and F4 is to empty the steam boiler. These are only really used if you're gonna be storing the machine or if you're gonna be shipping it for some reason for repair or something like that. I'm not gonna demonstrate those right now. F5 is a feature that a lot of machines have now and that's eco mode and that's how long the machine remains idle before turning off. The default is 30 minutes, but you can set it to 15, 30 minutes, 60 minutes or 120 minutes or you can turn that feature off. Uh, so basically, uh, that's how long it takes after your last coffee before the machine turns off the, uh, both boilers in order to preserve energy. F6 is where we change the units, and I have it set in Celsius, so C for Celsius or F for Fahrenheit. Uh, that's fairly self-explanatory, and that's easy to change. Ranchilio skips F7, that doesn't do anything, but F8 is the soft pre-infusion setting. And that you can change from between two to six seconds, I have mine set at five seconds, and I'll explain what the soft pre-infusion does in just a moment. So now that we've covered uh, the many features of this machine, let's see it in action, let's make some drinks. First thing I'm gonna do, as always, is going to be a double shot of espresso, and alongside the Pro X, I'm using the Malconic X54 grinder. This is a great all-around grinder for home use, uh, does a really nice job, it looks really good, and of course we know Malconic's quality is, is unbelievable. Now this tamper right here is what comes with the Pro X. It's a uh, very nice tamper. It's a uh, uh, wooden handle and stainless steel base. Uh, it's uh, part of a trend lately that we're seeing, seeing better tampers inside machines and I really like that because you can begin using your new machine right away instead of just using a piece of plastic like uh, that came with the uh, original Sylvia. The, the Sylvia now does come with a stainless steel base but a long time ago it used to come just with a piece of plastic. I have my pre-infusion setting set to five seconds. So what that does, the soft pre-infusion, which this machine has, first it gives you a very slow trickle of water to allow the grinds to swell uh, before subjecting it to the full pressure of the pump. And I have that set to five seconds. That's in the F8 setting. Uh, we can set it between two and six seconds, or it can be turned off as well. Now, I mentioned before, of course, the height adjustment as well. This is actually quite a large distance for my um, espresso. My espresso is going to get cold with, with all that distance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a little trick, and I'm just going to stack these cups on top of two other ones in order to reduce that distance. And again, to brew, we just press that brew button, and you see the pre-infusion is starting where you can't see it. it's happening inside the machine. And the PID also acts as a shot timer. I stopped it right at 30 seconds because that's what I had it calibrated to. And I have two very lovely shots of espresso. The second drink that I'm gonna make is going to be two uh, cappuccinos or lattes. And I'm gonna turn my steam on. And also I'm gonna purge any excess water inside the steam wand by opening it up. Just make sure that I get nice dry steam. And this is a dual boiler machine, so I can do a dry espresso and a froth milk at the same time, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And my extraction has started and I'm also frothing milk. Again, this is a dual boiler machine, like I said, so 
Uh, steam power is quite good. It's moving the milk very nicely. Let's go stop my extraction right there at 30 seconds as I finish frothing my milk. That's done there. And again, wipe the excess milk off of the wand and purge any milk that gets sucked up into the wand again. And then we just add our milk. Could have actually used a little bit more milk. These cups are a little bit larger than I thought, but I do have two nice lattes that are ready to enjoy. The final drink that I'm gonna make is gonna be an Americano. So I'm just gonna place my cup underneath here. Now in order to get water, you do want this light to be on. That's the, the boiler, uh, steam boiler's hot. So I'll put my portafilter in now. And then just add my coffee. You can see it's a lovely extraction and the crema rests nicely on the water giving you a beautiful presentation for what I'm sure is a very delicious Americano. There you have it, quick and easy. The Silvia Pro X continues Ranchilio's long tradition of producing high quality, fully featured espresso machines for the home market. As we saw earlier, the Pro X is packed with features and it provides a really good value for an Italian made dual boiler machine. The hardest choice will be picking which of these amazing colors will go best in your kitchen. If you have any questions about the Ranchilio Silvia Pro X or any one of our products, please feel free to reach out to idrinkcoffee.com. We're here to help and we're happy to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this about coffee machines, espresso machines, coffee grinders, and everything to do with coffee. Thanks for watching and have a great day.